So it's Tuesday at it's about quarter to six and I'm heading into town to meet Aisha. So we're gonna go and get Nando's because we've got a voucher that we've had for ages and it runs out this week. So we're gonna go and use it up. It is Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, five days before my second lot of treatment. And I'm really shitting it, really. I uh, really don't want it this time, just because I know it's gonna fuck me over, big time. And uh, my goal was to get through this week of work. And then next week, it's just gonna go tits up again. I'm not being negative, I'm just being realistic. But I've just got to appreciate nights like tonight. A blowout of Aisha. We can go for dinner and just have a nice time, you know? So, talking about my body, I've put on a little bit of weight over the weekend, over the last couple of weeks, just because I've been slack, I've been training bloody hard still, like considering. I've not been as strict on my body because of my mind as well, it affects you. So, going into tonight, I'm gonna have a little bit more, not restriction, but like control. And I'll show you what I get to keep that control. Yeah. It's even better when it's free. <laughs> Good girl for Aisha. Got some kind of bonding going on with the girls in oh. Nando's, you know. You know. Wagwan, guys. So we're gonna go, we're going to the gym, it's midweek. We're still buzzing about last night's Nando's. It's literally the best Nando's we've had, probably. Is it the best Nando's we've had? It's up there. Yeah. It's up there. That girl's so nice. Uh, yeah. Shout out to Taylor and Nando's. Taylor from Bromley, Taylor from Bromley. <laughs> um, don't know if I'm gonna record in this gym because I'm a bit arsy about it. But we'll see what we can do. Good workout, very good workout. Got some good footage as well because it's really empty. 
And now I'm off to train some cl a client and then heading back home. And I've got loads of food prep to do. So let's see. What are they? Oh, four mushrooms. I told her to only shop for basically two and a half or three days. Oh, that's a good loaf. Sourdough loaf. Oh, mate. Okay, allow that. Buff. Two packs of uh, lettuce. We'll use them. Pears, I'm on to pears at the minute, it's my new ting. Ooh, some really nice little strawberries going on and tomatoes going on. Milk. <laughs> oh, gloves. Shuna. Oh, there's the room. Yes, well done. Oh, chicken, steaks. Chicken breast steaks, chicken breast fillets, whatever you call them. Monster, they only got red one left. <clears throat> yeah. A spud and peanut butter. Good. Good shop. Especially when I didn't know you were going to film it. Very good shop. So meal prep is done. So I've got uh, tuna for tonight because I've just had chicken for lunch. Um, just a tuna steak. I prefer tuna steak because you get more protein in it and it tastes better in brine with a bit of extra light mayo and just plain salad underneath. And then I've got this one here, which is 170 grams of a chicken, um, pan fried because I didn't want to grill it because it gets a bit dry when I grill it. And then you've just got plain salad underneath. I'm gonna pop some of this with it tonight. I've got a few classes to teach, so I'll be really hungry for that one. Um, and I'll take some snacks. Boom. One. Have these metastats. Status has grown since diagnosis, yeah. It's an actual glorious day today. Feeling strong, feeling really good. Wednesday's usually like my weakness day. We weakest day. So it's like it's my, I always call it Wednesday hump day, obviously everyone else calls it Wednesday hump day as well, but it really is for me, like, big time. And I remember when my, my diet used to be a little bit worse, like as in like, um, worse as in too restricting. I'd really get an energy low, big time, and I would just feel flat as a pancake. But uh, I'm better now. So yeah, feeling the best I've felt in a long time. How am I feeling about treatment? Not so good, but it's just something you've got to do. You've got to get it done. I'm looking forward to this weekend because we're meeting up with a few friends in London and just staying in Bromley for quite a bit of time. So it's nice to get away, even though we're going away for treatment. It's still good to get away to another place. guys it's Thursday and uh, I just wanted to talk about something that came up in the video earlier but I didn't get a chance to talk about um, was uh, as you saw I was trying to get some insurance well I don't know if you did see that because of how it came up on the camera but me and Aisha are trying to book a good holiday that's quite far away and I cannot get insured and I got a bit wound up with this yesterday I got a bit down about it because I rung four insurance companies, um, three of which specialise in people with cancer and one was specialised in people with like more severe health conditions um, to, to go away basically. And four out of four told me that I cannot get, in, get quoted, not insured, quoted an insurance until 60 days before the holiday. Now, I'm not being funny, but who's going to book a holiday when they've got a brain tumour and they don't know how much the insurance is going to be? When this holiday is going to be, you know, it's not, it's not a budget holiday, put it that way. No one. One lady said to me, <laughs> she said, oh, that's a bit, uh, it's a bit far away, that. September, we want to go. September, that's... What? Who books a holiday to where we're going? Uh, 60 days in, in advance no one unless you're 
from Kim Kardashian and get on a private jet and whatnot. Anyway, so that really got to me because we've got the money, we've saved the money to go on this holiday and I think it's important that we do, we do something that we both want to do that is on our bucket list that, you know, it will be a trip of a lifetime. But we can't go because of my insurance. It's ridiculous. No one can quote me within 60 days. It's unreal. I just think it's disgusting how, you know, people... People don't even think how much we need holidays. And If there's anyone out there who has got a relative or has got cancer and is going away and got insurance within 60 days longer than 60 days in advance sorry then let me know please god because i'm not expecting it to be cheap but i want a quote for god's sake just so i can prepare and and, and then book holiday the holiday and have the quote <sighs> anyway moving on bastards um today i'm going off to work i'm not gonna get any more footage of the day today um <clears throat> but the weekend coming up we're off to Bromley, okay, so we're leaving on to Bromley on Saturday morning, we're seeing some friends in London in Covent Garden on Saturday night, going to a comedy club on Saturday night as well, uh, Sunday, uh, probably just chilling in the morning, maybe seeing some more friends for lunch, that's a maybe, and then Monday's my treatment, so I've just about cleared up this cold and now I'm going to get a whack of this treatment on board, so um, I've just got to go into it really strong, I think, I've got to go into it thinking, right, Second round, done the first one, let's go. I know what to expect, maybe a little bit worse than side effects. Um, I've just got to be as strong as I can be, I think. It's going to be different, it's always different, and I've got loads of side effects to tell the doctor about, and a bit worried about my thyroid, all this kind of stuff. Uh, putting on weight. Yeah, generally. Generally quite a bit to talk about with the doctor. Thank you so much for your support. I love you all lots and you mean the world to me. And I'll see you in the next clip. In the next video. I'll see you in the next video.